Vision Residence. So uh, welcome back, everybody. We're here talking about, obviously, episode three of WandaVision. Uh, but uh, in today's episode, we have our very good friend, Ernest Silva. Obviously, we also have just Luke and just Tyler here. Ju uh, the Steve, the General Reisner, is uh, working, you know, working a blue-collar job for blue-collar media. So that totally fits. And, you know, it's great. He's, gen he's generalizing some general things. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> basically. Generally. <laughs> Generally. Yeah. But um, before I start, uh, I would... Hey, Ernest, introduce yourself. I mean, we know who you are. We all, you know, I know you. We've known each other for since like middle school and stuff. So, but long time. Yeah, right. I, I, I thought about it the other day. It's like, it's crazy. Um, but the people on like, at least on my uh, YouTube channel, don't know who you are. So, introduce yourself. What do you do? And all that stuff. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm Ernest, host of the Into the Lab podcast. You might catch us Wednesday nights live at Into the Lab pod. Uh, you can go to my personal Twitter, which is at Ducky Future PhD, currently in my PhD, finishing my dissertation. So hopefully get that DR title soon. Um, but all about sports and analytics and sports. And then, of course, the wonder Mar wonderful Marvel verse and DC universe that I like to talk banter with with Mark. So I get to finally do it on camera. Um, but uh, no, I come from the RGV, grew up with Mark. We sang together and then oh, yeah. uh, grew up and now we do this. So, yeah. Sweet. Uh, for context, we were in choir all through like uh, middle school and high school and stuff. It was, oh it man, was you could have made a great story with that. And you're like, oh, we he did could choir. Have. He could. Have. Oh, <laughs> well, whatever. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I just, hey, I don't. I mean, I, I just want to be upfront. You know, like, sure, you know, whatever. <laughs> but sorry, I ruined the joke. But anyway, yeah, yeah, Ernest is awesome. I've been wanting him to get on the show and talk uh, about, well, all the stuff that we talk about, like during, like, when we were talking about The Mandalorian or uh, Cobra Kai, which I have yet to start editing. So that's <coughs> my fault, guys. I will get that out this week. I am so sorry. Because <laughs> uh, I think I mean, we mentioned Cobra Kai last episode, and I feel like the one person that watches this is just like, where's the Cobra Kai thing? And I'm like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, but that's Do not working. something. I, I know. I know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Sorry, one person. <laughs> oh, my God. This is actually just Paul's fault because he only hired Mark. So this oh, is yeah. actually just Paul's fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. No, so I, I was, no, I mean, like, I mean, I, I love what I do, but like, I have like, I, it's like, oh, I'm going to do Cobra Kai or at least just clean, you know, clean out the episode a bit. And then, uh, and then you know, a video from it's because you people are cursing too much, Tyler. No, I mean, okay, hey, well, awesome. you curse way too fucking much. <laughs> well, I, I, I've, I've done away with adding bleeps, and that still takes time from, from editing. But it's all good. It's whatever. Um. Anyway, well, let's get back to it. Um. Yeah. So this week's episode of Wandavision called in color which i didn't know until uh today because i rewatched the episode before we started recording yeah this episode is great but it felt like kind of like a filler episode i still have stuff to talk about with it but um overall like it's the it's the nor it's the normal uh it's a normal wandavision episode where it's like set in a during time period and it's all creepy during <laughs> the ending but um before i get into it Ernest, uh, if he's still here, um, I know you just talked about yourself, but um, what is your impressions with the show, first of all? And second, what did you think of this episode and anything that come to mind? Well, my first impression, sorry, just got off work, so I'm trying to get everything situated with the house. But uh, my first impression with the show was what the hell is going on, right? Because I had no fucking clue what was going on. Sorry for you, PG-13 listeners. It's not going to stay. Oh, he used a bad word, Mark. <laughs> I did. I did, Mark. I'm sorry. It's all good. Um, it's all good. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, episode three, I think, was like a turning point. Like, oh, now we're seeing a little bit about the story. Because you're like, okay, all this is moving quickly. And, um, you know, the pregnancy was a little weird and what was happening. And then you, you got a little flashback to her brother because she had twins and she's a twin. And you're like, oh, I remember that speedster, right? And uh, and then you have the ending, which was super captivating because, oh my gosh, this is all being in a controlled environment, and shield agents appear, and yeah, yeah, and there's Wanda, and so I think I think now you can do anything with the show, and 
um, I'm really excited because it's just all in her mind. Are they just holding her captive or what's going on? And yeah. I think that's how it's supposed to leave you. But it did get a little creepy there, Mark. You warned me before I watched it. It was going to get yeah. a little creepy. And yeah. it did. It did. It was a little creepy. So, um, um, yeah. So when it comes to this show, obviously they do a lot of references to like other, well, now they're, they're you know, like the first episode was like a Dick Van Dyke episode and episode two was like a Bewitched episode. And then this one, it's obviously taking pages from Brady Bunch and maybe a little bit Happy Days. But I noticed like, yep. I mean, I don't know if it was intentional or not. The um, the ending when, uh, you know, when Wanda starts, you know, like, you know, why'd you say that about Petro and stuff? Um, that reminded me so much of a Twilight Zone episode, like it, like an old school, like creepy, like black and white Twilight Zone episode, which it kind of felt like, like it reminded me of like, well, the 90s equivalent to that is the Outer Limits, which also creeped me out. It reminded me of that. So, um, but uh, yeah, I was just, it's a, it's a trippy episode. Uh, I, it was a, uh, at least the last five minutes were the rest of it, the, the first 15 are, you know, it's super funny, super cool. I, I, I like the, the stupid, I, I enjoy the goofy antics they do uh, riffing on other TV shows, but, mm -hmm. um, um, but uh, Tyler, what'd you think of this episode? So my thoughts were, one, I like that we are seeing Wanda's magic with the red cloud now. I like that. Right? Yeah. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. And then the whole pregnancy thing was just odd to me. And then the last thing is, I think Wanda knows what's going on. I think this is her reality, I mm -hmm. guess you want to say. Mm -hmm. And I guess vision might be clouded, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, because, oh, she had to go. And then next thing you see her in the field, and I'm like, hmm. Well, the I think th oh, so. I ahead. think she knows. I think she knows what she's doing. Yeah. And then, uh, then the whole thing with the neighbors was just awkward both times. Yeah. Uh, super yeah. awkward. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, when when you mentioned the that was one of the topics I was going to bring up, but since you said it, um, I okay. So for when I initially saw the episode, I. I it, it kind of came to mind like okay she knows what she's doing but then when i just rewatched it right now uh before we started recording uh, i noticed the uh the whole like previously on wandavision um they do make a point in pointing out that wanda doesn't really know like i mean how do you call it she's still chipped out about the helicopter Right. She, that she wanted to talk to Vision, like, I saw something very strange today, and yada, yada. And then what happened with Dottie with the blood? She was still like, what the hell is that? And what's going mm -hmm. on? I It's it's one of those things where I feel like she kind of knows what's going on until she doesn't. Like, it's so weird because I feel like it makes me think, like, is something, like, controlling her? Is there somebody influencing her? Like, maybe... I think that's where vision comes into play because all of a sudden we're i think there was two scenes this episode one episode or one time the episode before where like it just reblinds for like five to six seconds yeah yeah, and they yeah. say a different line so maybe i think that's where he like influences it too yeah 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 so it's it's very like you know what the weirdest thing is even um i'm starting to think that even when he doesn't get that whole like you know like the way the way wanda like I don't know if it was her or if it was the world doing that when vision was starting to figure out something weird was going down going on and then the tv glitched i thought it was like my internet messing up but that's how the episode yes, was yeah i was like oh shoot um i feel Is like that e data plan for the month <laughs> oh my oh hey yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. you know just like it, it's like it's like disney's way of telling you guys to, hey pay the 25 dollars extra for yeah. the plan. No, like, oh sorry it's a source spot i'm sorry yeah. uh, but um, the reason I bring up that with Vision is that he, I feel like even when he isn't um, like, you know, like knowingly aware, I feel like subconsciously he does because he does bring up like why he wants to name the kid uh, Billy because of William Shakespeare. And he, me he mentioned this weird quote like from William Shakespeare, like the the world is a stage and the people are the players. And I'm like, hey, that's literally what's going on here. Like yep. this, this is all you're all acting and the people yeah. there are just part of it and it's like uh i i know no right doctor be like oh yeah you're four months oh here's your twins yeah what 20 minutes later <laughs> yeah yeah 
So, okay. Oh my God, that's so true. I didn't yeah. shoot. I didn't think about yeah. that. He, I, I mean, in in any like weird way, like he would have noticed. Like when I was here, like an hour ago, you were <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were four months pregnant. Now you're like yeah. full on like you have twins. Okay, and she's and she's giving birth, and the pictures are spinning on the wall. The lights are flashing on and off. It's yeah, raining yeah. from the ceiling. It's like yeah. She's I, like I thought push. Those were the babies though. The what? Oh. I didn't think I thought that. those were the babies having powers. Oh, that that's is a possibility. That could that's be a true. possibility. I could, I could see that. I could um, see that. Because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I can see uh, that. Um, it, it's, it, yeah, I guess, I guess, cause like, I, 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 the way the first two episodes was, I, you know, we're all assuming it's all Wanda, but obviously there's something more to it than that. And, you know, we have our own theories, like, Mephisto, or if it's um, Agnes being a witch, or something like that. My uh, thing is too, it could go. There's still thirteen thousand different ways the story can go. There's yeah, yeah. So many open-ended stuff. Yeah, yeah. And still, three episodes later, all this open-ended stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. It's very like I don't know. Like I mean, we're three episodes in, and and if if I were to like couple up all the. Um, the story elements of what's actually going down it's only like eh, two like yeah like two (laughs) three minutes of of information so it's like okay um uh luke sorry i feel like uh what do you what did you think of this i know we already talked about all our other things but i mean uh um so i mean it's it's a borderline between a filler and uh an exciting episode Mm -hmm. just because um this honestly this whole thing reminds me of when cap came out of the freeze at yeah. first yeah and they try to like push him into the world without pushing him yeah. i feel like that's what they're trying to do with wanda yeah um yeah. even though she wasn't clearly born back then but mm-hmm. um i really want to see what they're gonna do with geraldine i mean they can't put her back in there yeah there there was um... I mean, she i i feel i mean i don't know if, okay i don't know if this is like a spoiler or not but like because it's like a still from one of their uh the wandavision posters that disney puts yeah. out but there's a post and i'll put it here in the video there's a poster where um like they show like each cast member and they have like tvs in front of them and it's like different images one of them shows uh geraldine uh she's dressed up yeah as a uh well sword i guess yeah a shield agent you know and she has like her badge and everything and so i'm like i'm pretty sure we're still gonna see her but now we're gonna see her from like her perspective at least uh, or at least you know like yeah. her in the real world and then we go back to the tv land stuff yeah so um i'm pretty so, sure yeah so yet again we have another episode of no driving oh yeah and the only and the only kids we see are wanda's yeah what? yeah so oh, wait, there was no driving that's right there was no like, driving. that guy's went on vacation but he never no. got a car started so yeah small towns you can't escape them remember yeah that was the other creepy thing yeah super creepy yeah. super creepy super creepy okay yeah and i also um, have this white van with candy and puppies oh my god yeah <laughs> or amazing. free wi-fi depends on who you ask yeah. um oh my god so uh the other thing that i want to definitely mention was um I mean, the doctor clearly knows he went faster than the speed of light. Right. Like, come on, guy. Like, you clearly know. He's like, well, maybe we'll walk, actually walk this time. But what are you doing? Like, you yeah, know yeah. something's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you just don't go wherever you were to where you are now. <laughs> it, it's 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 one of those things where, like, you know, it's like. It's so corny, but it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing with the backgrounds. Me and Mark were bullshitting about the backgrounds for the longest time. You clearly know that is not the background. Right. Like, he is standing in front of a screen. Oh, when they're there's up against the wall? nothing behind him. Yeah, there is yeah, nothing yeah, behind yeah. him. <laughs> it is him, the wall, and a plant. That is it. Yeah. There is yeah. nothing behind him. It's exactly like right now. You know, I mean, Luke's right here. He's clearly not at a hockey stadium. You know? I'm sorry, Mark. I can't hear you. What? <laughs> okay. He's too loud. Oh my god! <laughs> um, like before, before we recorded, like I guess because I wasn't paying attention to the screen as much, I was like, it, it really looked believable. I was like, oh my god, this dude's at a hockey stadium. Yeah. Why is there so many people not doing COVID uh, yeah. uh, distance things? Because we said, fuck it. That's why. Oh my god. 
<laughs> it's a great day for hockey. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, uh, just a lot of weird stuff though. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, the stuff with Geraldine, you clearly, even the neighbors know like something's going on. Me and Mark talked about it before. Um, I feel like this might be like they've been trapped here forever and they haven't been able to get out. They've seen people come and go, but they only come and go when they feel like they start to catch on to something. Yeah. And then when they catch on to something, they get yanked and they move away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. never gone. They just moved away. Yeah, but yeah. But my thing, Vision's smart enough to realize this is happening, I feel like. That's what makes me feel like he doesn't want but to But is he alive? It. Is he alive? Because well, that's what yeah, I don't or, that's, right. yeah. yeah, or is he just like... Maybe Playing it's down. just his head, and yeah, and yeah. Wanda's controlling everything he thinks about yeah. Yeah, as yeah. he's going around because she can't let go, and she's trying to build this life. And Shield has built this containment area for her to live out her life with Vision, where it's they just have Agent Shield's kind of plane inside plane yeah. house while she figures out her shit as she's going through depression. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, could when, be just her, we should look out for the five stages throughout all the episodes. Maybe she's going through her grief stages. Oh, and each one is a different ooh, uh, stage nice. that she's okay. running through. Man, that episode. sounds well, like a doctor right there. Holy yeah, shit. that was pretty good. <laughs> I didn't think God about that. God damn. Wow. Yeah. Well, how many we episodes do we have left? Five, right? No, four. Wait. We have four left. So, is, I thought it was no, 10 episodes. I think I thought it, was, it, was, I thought seven. it was I thought it was nine. I mean, I mean maybe. Maybe Vision is actually there, the projection of her. You know, maybe acceptance was something Vision was going through of stuff around him, and that was one of the stages. I got to look at the other episodes to know if he's gone through it. My mind. Wow. That's a good ass theory. I didn't. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that either. Yeah, that's a um, good thought. Because, because clearly, like, like there's so many different theories, but one of them is that like at least at least for me the grief period i um i didn't think about the stages though but i did say last week how each um each episode is you know like a tv show that that she's been watching from being sad you know when one person's depressed mm -hmm. um you you tend to like i'm just gonna sit down and watch television or whatever and then sometimes you watch a, a show and you're like like let's say like right now like oh i watch the office because it's it's comfort uh, TV, it's fun. Most watched, most streamed TV show in America last year. Just saying. oh damn, oh I didn't know, I didn't know that. I, was just saying, I thought it would be oh, for sure. Um, but uh, you yeah, like you watch that and then you project yourself like, man, you know, I wish my life was like that. You know, like when right. you see, and so I assumed the entire thing was her being like depressed. But when it comes to the stages, I I need to look into that because that actually yeah. that's actually sound because there there is a lot of um like certain little hints some someone brought up like there's a weird dream reference in each episode like 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 uh for instance like there's a giraffe it behind vision when he's in the baby room and uh there's supposed to be a, sim a symbolic reason why it's there there's a symbolic reason why in episode two there was um certain certain things i don't know what it was <laughs> i didn't really look into it but there's a lot of really weird weird ass series about this series that i'm actually inter interested in it, i oh, feel like and, the uh, store the store has something to do with that too like why is there just a random store like all I feel i'm like saying is give me that too. stork i want that stork <laughs> give me that stork. if he can stop wanda give me that stork because they can't yeah. <laughs> Thanos could use that stork right i was about to couldn't say couldn't even do it i i was watching He's like you trying to snap me out of resistance <laughs> <laughs> I'll slap it away oh my god like it's because like i was rewatching parts of uh endgame infinity war and i'm like dude like she's all like brutal when she's like fighting against thanos and then i rewatch this episode right now i'm like the damn bird ain't going away so what's the what the heck like what's going on <laughs> like i don't know it just it was so random um what do you call it uh oh let me show. so uh i don't know if you still are Ernest, but i remember back in the day you, you were very into x-men and stuff yep. or so I think. when 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 it comes to um wandavision or at least the character of wanda maximoff do you like you're like i know me and tyler are, i don't know about luke but like in terms of the comic book interpretation of them 
do you do you know enough about Wanda, like her comic book stories and stuff, or some at least highlights or anything like? I know some of the highlights. Like, um, a part of me wants to believe that in the in the first season, you see, there's a comic book version. Don't even quote me what 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 issue or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a comic book version uh, where Wanda brings back everybody in her life that was meaningful: her brother, Ultron, several X Men. Yeah. Um, you know, a whole a whole cast of Avengers, um, and she brings them back into this this figurative world and holds yeah. them there for a whole series, yeah. um, because she's trying to get away from reality. Yeah. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is what it's going for, and yeah. if this is the lead into when X Men are going to finally appear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, with the with the X Men Avengers art coming up. Yeah. Um, but it's a good start. But she yeah. she went through so a lot of tra- dramatic things, like she was held captive. And, and mind controlled for a while. I think you guys mentioned Mephisto and, and a couple other um, villains that she's been tied to, but like after the Ultron series, this is when this happened. And it was before Thanos, if I had to think about the timeline. Um, so it would be a little off, but um, but yeah. So trauma always leads uh, Wanda to go into these kind of, um, the words escaping me, I'd be able to talk a little bit more. It, w- what is the word when you have like a psychic's own area? What is that uh, word? You know what I'm talking about when you're in there. Euphoria? Kind of like that, but there's a word for Like, Professor X has it all the time. Um, oh, dang. Um, you train them in the beginning to, to have their own environment, their base, their... Anyways, I'll figure oh, out the word later. Oh, oh, your happy place. Happy Gilmore. Sure, yeah. Hey, let's just go. Yeah. Yeah. It's, all, it, it's all in look your at Luke, so, Look at Luke's face. Yeah. Look at Luke's face. <laughs> Like all, 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 I can to... see, all I can see is a midget on a little tricycle. Oh my God. That's all I see now. <laughs> Ringing Thanks the bell. for that. <laughs> You're welcome. It's like like Ernest is trying to find like the actual like <laughs> like like smart word. And it's like, oh, happy place. <gasps> like yeah. what is uh... it? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, anyway, so you get into there. I'll figure out the word right now and look it up. And, yeah, and yeah. once you get into that element, like she she controls all, right? She controls yeah, yeah, the yeah. entire environment. So yeah. kicking out Geraldine just kind of sums it up to that too, that shield works for her and yeah. uh whoever said it i think it was tyler but that when they had a uh, cap in the fake or the you know the night the old 1960s it wasn't really the 1960s but they had him in the fake 96s it reminds yeah. me exactly yeah. like that but she gets to control her own environment so yeah 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 um and what's that movie with jim carrey where he's stuck um, inside the fake place and he's getting filmed the entire time truman show Yes, I was that's thinking about what that. It felt like it's what it felt like uh, when Jodie was kicked out. And it's like a Truman Show setup. So they're yeah, watching yeah. what she's doing, and they have her everything hooked up, and they're supporting her with all the fake backgrounds and whatever. But um, I do think Vision's like either a head, like just a, literally a head, yeah, or, yeah. or something that they were able to preserve from what everything that happened from Endgame, and that she's just trying to live out her life with him and going through her stages of her five stages of grief. Um, earlier when you mentioned about Wanda controlling Vision, uh, it kind of mm-hmm. reminded me uh, of Civil War when uh, when Wanda. Yeah, she sp- technically does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she yeah. uses her powers, and then like she's able to stop him from uh, Hawkeye, and then like you know throws him to the like m- you know bottom of the earth. But yeah. she, she but she does have control over Vision, and I think even more so now because let's say in this hypothetical like. I don't know if he's just a head or if they did repair him. He doesn't have like an infinity stone. So I'm pretty sure Wanda right. could like do whatever the heck she wants and control him and stuff. So it's just very like, it's very weird. Does anyone know about Tommy and Billy? The the, the kids? No idea what, yeah, I have no idea why, what the, so I what the recollection is. I didn't, I didn't know either until I saw the episode and then obviously, obviously. And then I um, then I went on TikTok and a lot of people like were talking about it that Tommy and Billy are actually uh, characters from the Marvel comics. They are really are Wanda's kids in the comic books. Uh, Tommy and Billy are twins that have uh, Quicksilver and Wanda's powers like separately. Like I think Tommy has Quicksilver's uh, super speed and uh, Billy is called um, his superhero name is Wiccan and he has Wanda's abilities as well, but it's not as strong. But um, I didn't know that until I saw the episode. Now, the, the reason I think this is very interesting, it's because 
they are the found well not founding but they are the main characters in young avengers and that is actually one of the marvel like tv shows or movies that they want to develop that they brought up in uh, the disney expo a couple of months ago and so uh the reason i bring them up and i i did talk about it with you luke is that do you think are we gonna see like tommy and billy like grow up I mean, I know we don't have episode four yet, but are we going to see them grow up real quick or as babies the whole time? I, I It's so confusing because they the, the timeline goes so fast at some points. And, I mean, Wanda had a nine-month pregnancy in 12 hours. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we skip. It feels like we go from, we, it's supposed to go from the 70s or the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. Yeah, you know it's supposed to go all the way up through. Are we skipping ten years at a time? Because if we skip ten years, they're going to be ten years old. That's true. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, yeah. the the timeline hasn't really met up with, hasn't stayed. Tr- I'm not going to say it hasn't stayed true, but it, it's not like a straightforward timeline. It it, it jumps. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't really know. I would assume. I don't. If they would make them, like they'd have to be 10 years old by the end of it if that's the way they want to go yeah, like yeah. they can't be too old they can't be too young they have to be enough to be in school and know they have powers yeah, like yeah. somewhere in between like i'm i don't know i mean let me ask my super parents on when they got their superpowers i don't fucking know when you do <laughs> yeah, that yeah, yeah. so <laughs> like i don't know when the competence would come I'm assuming somewhere between 10 and 15. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking too. It's very, I don't know. It's very, it's a weird show. Uh, it's a very like, I don't know. Cause I'm still trying to figure out the whole timeline thing too. I have my own weird theory. Uh, it's going to take forever to talk about, but um, I think Ernest actually has to step out in a minute, I think. But uh, before he does uh, two things, you said you had a theory, Ernest. Before, uh, I have a theory. I have okay. a theory. All right. So Marvel does want to lead to the Young Avengers. All right. That's my theory that they do want to go there. But I do think somehow, some way we're going to learn Wanda has the time stone. Huh. Why? The time stone? They are going to mess around. They're going to mess around with some of the Infinity Stones going forward. Not all together, but they're going to mess around with them considering there's no overpowered being that's going after them right now. But I think somewhere down the line, we're going to learn she has a time stone and she's she's using it with her psychic abilities. I okay, you know why I would believe that just for a minute? <clears throat> it's just because of the um the Doctor Strange movie. Cause it's infamous right. that she she's the main characters in the next one uh the next uh Doctor Strange film. Uh even Elizabeth Olsen has said like behind the scenes like last week that like there's a lot of trippy stuff in the movie that the show is gonna touch upon a little bit. So I feel like maybe you're right. Uh, the only reason I, I'm still skeptical is because when it comes to like infinity stones and stuff, I'm trying to like think, oh man, like would they well, go back? I mean, well, I mean, you gotta think about it. Doctor Strange faked out Thanos one time. Yeah, yeah already so it's quite possible <laughs> that it could happen oh, that's true and maybe she learns how to have whatever that word is in her own area <laughs> right and or be she, able to yeah to where she can travel go, between the know, worlds and, too and live a whole life you yeah, know yeah. and maybe yeah. she went back and grabbed a vision that was able to remove the stone in whatever time and was able to live out a life oh. and she's just living it so that she can rejoin the avengers knowing that she lived her life and just sacrifice whatever she needs to going forward Damn. Side, you know? side note, Mark, the the li- the life I live is my best cigar life. So if you want a cigar life product, <laughs> you head over there to livingyourbestcigarlife.com and we have over 3000 cigars. Wow. That's very awesome. And the promo code, Tyler. <laughs> promo code is <laughs> living my code. best living my best cigar life in all capitals. Get that 10% discount. Oh my god. I mean, god. if you're going to cut a promo, cut the fucking promo. <laughs> like like give the damn I know, discount. I know. Nah, we nah. we ain't rich like we need the we, yeah. we need that we ain't rich, we ain't rich. Uh, but um i yeah no i like that theory that makes sense uh i feel like i mean 
they, the time stone is something that I know, like they even touched upon in end game that they, that they need, you know, like at least when it comes to the whole sorcery stuff. Um, so yeah, to I, keep the timeline intact, the seven stones keep the timeline intact. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel. I like, mean, of all stones, that's the one I would say yes, that makes the most sense. To it get was either that or the reality stone. Yeah, that's yeah. What I thought it was. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Hey, Ernest, did you had to because I, I got his his message right now. Uh, did you have to step out, or were you still okay? He looks busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm out, guys. But thank you for having me. All right, um, Ernest. Uh, see you, buddy. Bye. All right, so uh, I still have a few things to talk about with the show. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the another thing that I kind of noticed about the show, um, it's not really a big deal. Uh, the hydro soap, the, the commercial the thing. Hydro, yeah, the hydro soap, yeah. yeah. Uh, so how, do either of you watch, uh, I've seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I have Tyler not. Tyler probably. Uh, oh, no, no, I have no, not. No, 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 I have no. not. You guys I never see, liked it or oh damn. Never I never uh I never pursued that. I have no reason no reason not to, but I've never pursued it. Yeah, yeah. What do you call it? It's a show that I really got into. I think it was one of the uh when they when they first brought it up, I was like, Oh fuck, TV show said in the MCU and then after like three seasons, it it, it was still great, but they um what do you call it? They tried it, too hard. They tried too hard or didn't try enough. Like season one yeah. was the be- the not the best season, but they did do a badass crossover with uh, the Winter Soldier because the way I don't know if you, I don't know if anyone any of y'all heard or saw this. Like in one episode, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a spoiler for everyone, but, <laughs> but just in hindsight, the show's over now, and, uh, yeah. and and the episode came out in 2014, so it's like eh. But in one of the episodes, they um, they're getting uh, they're heading back to uh, some shield uh, like place or whatever, and then they're getting chased by some jets that are trying to attack them, and then the, they're trying to encrypt like what's giving them their orders, and for some reason, hidden in it is like a hydra, um, like a hydra message. It's kind of like their order sixty six, like. Mm-hmm. Or- and then the episode ends but then they show a clip of the winter soldier uh because it was the same week the movie was coming out and then so the clip was when uh nick fury's getting chased by uh by the yeah, shield the agents fake police yeah and then uh and then that was it and then they said uh you know watch next week's episode and then when i saw the movie i was like oh everything makes sense now what hydra's doing and stuff and then, so the next week they um they show what happens, and then by the end of the episode, it's uh, they show you events from the Winter Soldier movie. So it was badass because apparently it was like they were showing you a clip that was showing like what was happening concurrently with the TV show. Okay, so there is a reason why I'm bringing this up, so just I won't be randomly bringing up Agent Shield. And um, in one of the seasons of Agent Shield, I think season three or four they um they get stuck in this weird reality world called the framework where it's uh it's like a it's like kind of like a parallel it's a, it's it's all in the it's in, it's all in a computer but it's in a weird simulation world where if hydro won and in oh, it okay. Col- in it colson was making a weird like he was a school teacher instead because they changed up everyone's occupations mm-hmm. and uh in it he mentions hydro soap that the, he had a weird theory in it and it, no, they didn't believe it but they said like oh hydro soap is uh, a thing that they're distributing to get people to um just believe whatever they want to believe like basically like just accept anything that hydro sells them and uh when they said when they showed this ad i was kind of like in wandavision i was kind of like Okay, they're not connecting to Agent Shield, but I feel like that's a reference on its own. They're trying to tell you that something is controlling Wanda. Yeah. Basically. I don't think it's Hydra itself, but they did say in the soap thing, like escape to a reality or escape to a world yeah. that you want to be in. Yeah. And so, so, yeah, sorry I was talking too much about that, but I was just like, I was just like, when I found that out, I was like, oh. Well, that's what I, I mean, now that it, it makes sense now, I mean, because yeah. when I first saw it, I'm like, what? Fuck, does this have to do with anything? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I was, 
care about a lady in a bathtub eating bath salts. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I... <laughs> Because at first you said that it, they thought it was Wanda's mom. Yeah, yeah. That I, yeah. That's a, that's a theory going around that that's a, that's her parents or something. Yeah. Which I, which you know, I kind of don't want that to be true. Just on the fact that I want a reveal want to this. be. Huh? Yeah. I, I want, want an appearance of her parents. Yeah, yeah. Right? I want. I, I want. What I want is I want Magneto to show up as the dad because in the comics. Magneto's the father, and so I want like Michael Fassbender to show up out of nowhere, like what the dad? But I don't know. It's a it's a pipe dream. I didn't feel like they pointed in any certain direction this whole episode at all. Yeah, like yeah. it just left me more confused than yeah. the first two episodes. Except now we have two babies. Yeah, yeah. It's well, that was the thing that me and me and Luke were saying. How like. I think from this point forward, the show is going to be a lot more different. Even Elizabeth Olsen said that last week, how like the show, like we're still going to get the TV, uh, you know, theme of the week. Yeah, that kind of feel, yeah. But now since, you know, characters within the show and we, the audience, know something more is going on because they do show you like, this is the first time we actually see the real world, like other than- yeah. other outside than outside of the realm, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like what might be going on is that we might still see TV land, but it might cut back and forth. Like we'll start seeing like segments of the real world and what's going on there just to get information. Cause I feel like, like, I, I know, I know that's one of the common complaints from idiot millennials <laughs> and I'm, I'm sounding like a, I'm sounding like a boomer. Get but, off my lawn. Yeah. yeah. I say here, here comes the general. The general's coming out. In March, oh right? here my we go. god! Oh my god! I can't do a good. I can't do a Steve impersonation. Mm -hmm. He'll yeah. kill me. He'll like if assuming he watches this. Um, Let but... me go outside, smoke his bowl real quick. I'll come back. Oh, okay, Steve. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, like, oh, yeah. uh, guys, uh, did you see the game? Uh, Tom Brady. I need Tom that Brady. Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> yeah, Pepperidge Farm. I need Pepperidge Farm. Hey, did you get, see that boss, the clam chowder? The clam I need chowder. That clam down. chowder down oh, the parking yeah. space down by the lot. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, man, I'm gonna go uh, smoke a bowl at Rhode Island. I can't do it. I can't do. I can't, <laughs> can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I could do like a, like, like, um, like something like those. Oh man, it's so weird. Like the voice they do in the Sopranos, like the the coffee talk, but that's not yeah, Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't Boston. So, or at least I don't know. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want someone to comment and be like, "That is something," or "That isn't." That's a horrible accent. So, I guess the other thing is. Yes. Are the kids going to go to school? Well, there's you know a pandemic I mean? going on, and most kids are homeschooled. So, and yeah, yeah. is technically, I'm just saying. Is Vision a dildo? What? Wow. Okay. We're just gonna go there. Uh, just asking. Yes. How did the pregnancy work? There's no way it was immaculate conception. We went there. This is like bumping best card. All hashtag over bumping best card. Hashtag Dude. bumping autonomous figures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking like, yo, you know what's funny? Right when you said bumping Beskar, all I kept thinking was like, F it, let's let's make a merch with that. And yes, I'll, absolutely. And all that popped in my head was uh the little stick figure. Is he tech <laughs> see, so is vision a vibrator, right? I mean I don't know. That's I mean great a questions. A vibrator with a conscience. Uh I mean, I guess. I mean that was Shake Weight in South Park. <laughs> I mean, not uh, I, These are the questions that need answered. Are the kids going to go to school and is Vision a dodo? I need these answers questions. Well, Mark questions Hamill used answers. to answer all our Star Wars questions, so who are we going to yeah. call up now? Oh, <laughs> We're going to have to call Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Just tag yeah. uh, Kevin Feige. Ask him, like, <laughs> uh, I was just wondering during this pandemic, sir, how are the kids yeah. going to go to school? That yeah. makes no sense. And yeah. second, It's for the kids. It's, I'm sure it's for the children. Are, I'm sure someone's already asked that question. Yeah. <laughs> it's for the children, Mark. Come on now. For the children. Yeah. For the children. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. It's for the children. It's for no. the children. Yeah. And, 
And then the second question you ask Kevin Feige is uh, his vision of Dildo. Is he considered one because he's a robot and he has no soul stone? So he has no soul. He's just. So is he a ginger? Ooh, he is a shade of red. I was about to he say is that. Red. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> he is red. He's he is a red robot, and he has no soul stone. So I guess he is a ginger. He did have kind of no. He had blonde hair. Damn it, that would have been great. Yeah, he had blonde hair. Oh, mm -hmm. That would have been great. Uh, I, I I don't. These know. are the hard hitting questions I need to know, Mark. God, <laughs> headline bangers. These are headline banger questions, right? <laughs> what well, what was the uh? <laughs> What was the uh, the hashtag you said for that one? <laughs> like hashtag uh, hashtag uh, hashtag bumping anonymous uh, anonymous. No, not an autonomous. Autonomous, autonomous fake figures. Yeah, autonomous there, figures. Because when I was thinking about the shirt, the fictional shirt, um, yeah. all I kept thinking was like that, but like it being a long word, like bumping autonomous, blah, 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 and it's like damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what the heck is this? Um, uh, no, but anyway, so one, like I said, no driving. Two, we finally see the kids. Does the yeah. kids have powers? Was the kids the ones mm -hmm. that made the pelican? Did they make the butterflies? Yeah. Um, mm. you know, did they cause the power outage? Yeah. Was the power outage actually something outside of the world or something inside of the world? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, there's just a bunch of, you know, like small questions like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <sighs> okay. So a theory that I had that kind of could answer this, but it, it's so like, and I wish Ernest was here in a sense because he watches Doctor Who. But yeah. I did say I did say this Saturday, like so in Doctor Who, uh, there's an episode where the the Doctor is stuck in this um, he's stuck in this weird world where it goes on repeat. Like it's like he he tries to escape it then he goes you know he dies but somehow dying resets it and then he's just stuck on a loop and like the just, time stone with uh yeah um du doctor Durant strange and the Durant monster Durant. yeah it, it it that's that's how it was up until like um the thing he kept doing was he kept like punching a wall and that by the ending of the episode he punched it so many times that the wall was the only thing that was like happening normally that it created like a wall and it broke the time loop and it, it was happening for a trillion years and it was like whoa that's insane so the reason i bring that up is that when i brought up the, the whole thing about the kids uh billy and tommy like how are they gonna how are they gonna age because at this point there uh there is actually a lot of fans of those characters because like they are a uh I mean, at this point, uh, for the newer re newer Marvel readers, they are very like important to Young Avengers and the whole uh, X Men Avengers connecting because they're mutants, but they're also Avengers. Um, I feel like my theory is that maybe that's what's happening here. They're all in a loop. They're they're going by different TV stages, and then at some point, it just loops back because in one of the tv spots or tv trailers they do show or actually no it go the super bowl trailer from last year they showed uh vision and wanda like vision's all like oh welcome home and it's in black and white but then wanda's for some reason in color and she's wearing her normal clothes and then it looks like and then for some reason like they're splitting apart like like she zooms back and then uh and it looks like the world's kind of like resetting back to the 50s or something. Mm -hmm. So that's a theory. It's just a theory. I know I shouldn't be looking at old trailers, but I, I'm I don't curious. know. It, like, I, there's, there's so many ways they can go with this because originally I thought it was like she was in Wakanda because the way that was, first of all, that's where Vision died was Wakanda. Mm-hmm. And like the force field that was gen, like it looks like that's generating looks like the the wakandans train like force field to keep the train in with the vibranium yeah yeah. like yeah. it looks like it's being projected that way so uh, i originally i thought they were she might be in wakanda but i don't know yeah 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 i have no idea because that's where technically vision died so oh is oh. that oh oh uh.
small child. Oh, I know I'm oh. hearing a kid. I don't know. For the listeners, um, I mean, uh, Ernest just came back, but he's also not here, so I'm kind of like psychic territory is what psychic he said. Psychic territory. Never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. But that's, that proves he's going for his doctorate because I've never heard of that. That's what it is. Oh. Uh... <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lad, Ernest. It's a lad. Hey. Ernest Silva, ladies and gentlemen, uh, follow yeah. his at. I'll put it in the ending of the episode. But yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hear the baby crying too. He's having his own yeah. episode three WandaVision episode. Yep. Hashtag yep. girl dad. Yeah. So. Hashtag girl dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god. It's so, for the children, Mark. For the children. It's for the children. For the children, um, I feel like that's the only thing I could think of. I couldn't think. Of, I know there was one other uh, thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, the main one. So, um, I want to talk about the ending. That was okay. a, that was effing creepy. I loved it. I loved. Uh, for me, I okay. So I don't know how to how to say this because I don't know how you guys are to it. If there's one Marvel movie I passionately hate is Age of Ultron. It is the worst effing Marvel movie I've ever fucking seen. Uh, I know there's... I mean, I could watch the shitty Daredevil film, but at least I'll have enjoyment from how bad it is. You know, like electric nachos and whatever the hell they talk about. (laughs) But, um, or, uh, you know, stuff like that. But I, I I remember, like, I did not like that movie. And I really hate it. And even watching it now, I get a headache. Because they they put too much on the screen, but um, when they did show when they when uh, Geraldine uh, name dropped Ultron, I got goosebumps. I was like, because I think for three whole episodes we're stuck in this world that I'm like, how is this a Marvel? You know, like to newer people, how is this a Marvel show? Yeah. And um, and so h- hearing Ultron, I'm like, oh fuck, like that's so great. And then hearing Petro like her mentioning how she was a twin. I got like, I was like, oh fuck! Like, are they gonna bring him back or anything? And that's my question. Um, uh, do you think? I think we talked about it last week, but you know, like, it, does this kind of show more that maybe he will come back, or are they gonna bring the X Men one? He's he's got to make an appearance. I was saying, you just don't you just don't pull that out of left field and not use it. I, I mean, even if it's. Uh, a Boba Fett at the end of episode 10 like he's got to make an appearance somehow mm-hmm. uh, I don't know in what capacity I mean they have the guy that played him correct yeah yeah I mean he's on the he's on the callback so I mean yeah he has to be a part of it somehow whether it's just a small infomercial or yeah uh, me and Mark talked about it whether or not she tries to like in her mind she sees someone that looks like Petro mm-hmm. But in reality, like, she could go through the entire episode trying to convince me he's Pedro. But Vision, like, is like, Wanda, that's not him. That's not him. And then at the last second before the episode ends, they cut to him and it's not Pedro at all. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he has to make an appearance, I would assume. I just yeah. don't know what capacity at this point. Hopefully not driving a car with with more kids. Oh, know? God. Yeah. Because that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's... It's, I don't know. Like I, I'm. I feel like he's. I, I was hoping he was going to show up here. I did say last week how each TV spot really does go into a traumatic like event in her life, and then I was really expecting Petro to be in it in the TV spot. But I guess it makes sense. Hydra. I would have thought it would have been looped around. Like episode two would have had the Hydra commercial, and then three have um, what's his name, uh, Strucker. But um, I don't know. It's just it's just something I feel like they name dropped, and it's not that it's like oh, it's not like I don't want them to talk about Petro, but I did find it kind of interesting. Another tidbit is that like, this is the first time he's ever been mentioned in Marvel, the the MCU movies, um, since Age of Ultron. He's never brought up in Civil War. He's never brought up in Infinity War. He's like an he's like an afterthought. And so like I was like oh fuck like they brought him they they mentioned him. So, uh, yeah, I love that ending when they when they were ta- making these weird Marvel connections. Um, uh, my whole th- like, yeah, I, I really hope they showed the X Men one. D- my next thing is, do you think there's an Easter egg with the neighbor cutting the wall? 
is there something with that you think like because that's just kind of random yeah to be cutting a cement wall is it like maybe symbolism of like barrier with her in the this thing she's in is it like maybe i don't i don't know it's weird i just think there's something with cutting the bear the, the wall like something weird i guess i don't know probably the berlin wall <laughs> uh, i would think it's like well i could think of two things one i could go in the what's happening in the world like maybe he's glitching like he not not literally but like he's starting to notice or he's trying to in his head trying to get out of this dreamlike state and that's why he's like cutting through the wall thing or it could just mean figuratively like breaking the fourth wall the library that was the thing i wanted to talk about was how like in episode two you know everyone all the guys are in a meeting and they're talking about you know like they're obviously gossiping and stuff but the main point of the meeting was supposed to be about uh security and stuff then you see on episode three that the, the intro they're they're leaving the library um so you know they're still having their meetings and then in um in the ending of the episode they show the the sign westview and it shows on the bottom of the sign saying for you know any information about the town of westview check out our local our public library and stuff like that so i i feel like am i i feel like i'm like i'm the guy from from uh, from uh it's always sunny in philadelphia where he's going crazy you know like coming yeah. up with theories and stuff. i feel like i'm going to yeah. that room like am yeah. i overthinking it or is there something more to that library like are the guys they might that might be the center point of the the that universe yeah, you know yeah. i mean you remember remember uh, it's gonna bring up being on flashback remember agent ultron yeah. where the pillar was was the center of the city oh the library might be she's picturing the library as the center and focal point of the entire city of Westville. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Westville. Yeah. That makes sense. I I I I feel like that's probably that's more likely it. I, I just I it was just something I noticed about that. Like I felt like it's very peculiar. Cause if you have I feel like if we would know more about Sokovia, we would be like we might know more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I feel like she's modeling this more of Sokovian way. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we have no idea what Sokovia is, really. I mean, we were there. Yeah, and that's yeah, about yeah. it. We don't know anything else about it. Yeah, yeah. It's because because in here, like, she she's very interested in like she even said that for Tommy's name. Like, I just want a good old American name. Yeah. yeah to the point where she's basing this world on American TV shows. Her accent. Uh, in course of the movies starts to dwindle to the point where yeah, here she's talking, gone. Yeah, 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 she doesn't have the accent. So I feel like when it comes to Sokovia, maybe that's another traumatic thing. Like I feel like maybe that might be the ad for three for uh, I mean for the next for episode four. Like there will be an ad for Sokovia, and maybe that's another traumatic event because it's like her whole town got blew up, and so she's trying. In this world, she's just trying not to think of Sokovia. Like it's not that she, right. not that she hates it, but it, it, it it's, it, it's like the equivalent of you know, like. I mean, it's Vietnam flashbacks. I mean, yeah, it's, there you it's go. Exactly what it is. I yeah. mean, it's Vietnam flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it. So, like, I don't know, but. Um, but I feel like in the Mandalorian, like I said, we we can take this about a, a trillion different ways. So yeah, yeah, it, we'll, we'll see. I mean, we're only in episode four, and we've got a lot of questions. So we don't know if it. We don't even know how many episodes there are. I think right? there's seven. I, you think there's ten? Tyler thinks there's nine. So yeah, I said ten. Don't Mark we, said nine. I, whatever. <laughs> hey, if we, I'm a betting man, it matters. Oh, betting man. Nope. Is there any other thoughts? Right, like. It's just no, I, I, I'm assuming we're going to start next week's episode probably with outside of the world. Right? Yeah, yeah. I would hope I would assume. So. Yeah. Um, At this... I mean, I would hope. I mean, we're definitely going to get back in there, but it's we've got to be able to know what's going on on the outside to know what's going on on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, at some point in time. Yeah. We have to figure it out. So. Yeah. No, I, I, I hope I hope they do that, too. It's not that I don't. I, I love the TV segments, but. There is just a bridging point where it's like, okay, we kind of want to know what the hell is going on. I mean, 
um even tv shows whenever they have like a certain gimmick or whatever like they kind of you know they they, they have to give what the viewers want now i, I want to know what the hell's going on because i can't be li- i i don't want to be confused for another week but um yeah i guess if that's it tyler since you already <laughs> did your ad <laughs> would you love to do that again i do i do absolutely uh, you can find me on Twitter at CigarsRLife56, where I team up with LiveMyBestCigarLife.com. Um, they have over 3,000 cigars now uh, online, and we are one, no, we're three months into um, actual storefront in Kent Square, Pennsylvania. So if you're in that area, look it up. And uh, if you know anything about mushrooms, I'm sure you know where Kent Square is already. But that's my spiel. Luke, where could people find you and all that stuff? Yeah, you uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hearts on Hockey. Uh, we've kind of been MIA lately. It's uh, we've got a lot of stuff going around in the compound, so we're uh, we're trying to get. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to record with one of my favorite Yenzers, uh, Jordan DePigio. Talk a little puck tomorrow, and hopefully it'll be out Wednesday. But uh, you can always catch me on Twitter, like I said, at Hearts on Hockey. Start some shit, talk some shit. And uh, go say hi to Mr. Bernie Sanders. Awesome! Oh my god! I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna in, in, like I'm just gonna Photoshop you. Post, post him right there. Yeah. Hi, Bernie. Oh. <laughs> For Ernest, even though he's not here because he has you know uh, fatherly duties, uh, please go follow him. Uh, I well, his personal uh, Twitter. I'm bringing it up because he it's brand new. Uh, Doc E Future PhD, where he posts all his awesome stuff. Also follow his uh, well, the podcast that even Luke uh, and Errol and Steve and a whole bunch of other people from Blue Collar Media joins in um, into the lab pod. Uh, but yes, go follow them, check them out. I edit for them; they're really awesome. And uh, yeah, so yeah, we'll be back next week. Obviously, talking about episode four. Hopefully by then, Steve will be back. But if you know, but um, but if not, well sorry <laughs> anyway uh thanks guys for joining on this episode and um yeah yeah also oh, wait a minute dumb sue wait, one more thing uh also follow us follow uh blue collar cantina on twitter i need to figure out a system on posting more stuff but that's where i post all our like the new like the new uploads and videos that i make like edits of this stuff so uh and we'll make a bumping best car shirt will not or yes or hashtag bumping autonomous figures bumping autonomous figures will be the new <laughs> the new shirt design so it's gonna be great anyway <laughs> anyway yeah thanks guys for watching this uh watching this new episode and i hope you all have a great day and uh yeah see you later Yo!